Welcome to the Nomade, Nomade Discover series. Today we're gonna explore and discover what Santiago has to offer. Really sorry about the delay, a little bit of a difficulty there, but we are online now. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in to this um, to this webinar, and let's start right into it. Um, we we will start uh, telling you a little bit about. Nomade. Nomade is a representation company that works with luxury products from South America. This is a, a map of South America and where uh, the different locations that we have properties in Chile, in Peru, and also in Antarctica. Okay. Um, the idea is that you can uh, work with us and, uh, and, and rely on us for information, and then you are free to book with your preferred wholesaler. Okay. Um, so let's, let's, start right away and let's get into Santiago, the capital of Chile. Um, I'm Ben, sorry about that. I'm Ben. Uh, I was born in Santiago um, and, and lived there until I was 30, until 2010. So uh, living there and seeing Santiago changing from what it used to be and it was today, it's been an amazing experience, especially living in Australia and having the chance to actually um, discuss about South America with a lot of people in the industry and, and, and the passengers as well, okay? Let's get into some of the details of Santiago. As I was saying, it's the capital of Chile in South America. Here you can see a little bit of, a, this is the map of South America and where Santiago is located. Um, is uh, in terms of connectivity, in air connectivity, Santiago is really well connected. Uh, it's the gateway to South America. So your passengers will have to, at some point, will have to stop in Santiago when they arrive or depart from South America. And today, Santiago and, and Chile is not only a stopover, but a, a destination in, in itself and, and a great one, okay? So you have more than 10 frequencies a week with Latam Airlines flying uh, by uh, through from Sydney to Santiago via New Zealand, and they have also a direct flight from Melbourne to Santiago. And with Qantas, you can fly direct from Sydney to Santiago as well, okay? As I was saying, Santiago is the capital of Chile. Chile has a population of 17 million, uh, and 40% of this population lives in Santiago. So it's, it's a big city, it's the biggest city in Chile, and it's the cultural, political, and financial center of the country, okay? It's, it's a dynamic destination. It's, as I was saying, it's a big, it's a big city. It's really spread out. Um, it will, it, it can take traffic. Traffic is a little bit of an issue as any major city uh, today, and it will take you a long time from one place uh, or from one edge to the other of the city. But in the last couple of years, and I would say in the last five years, um, really good highways have been built. So connecting the city, the, the, the different corners of the city really well. And we also have a really good subway or metro, okay, to connect every uh, every single uh, corner of the city. And it works really well. Uh, uh, everyone, everyone uses it, and I encourage people to actually use it. So even though I, I also recommend to take a city tour and have all, part of your experience in, in Santiago organized, um, before going, having some free time to wander around is, is a way, is a good way to explore the city as well. Okay. Of course, different different neighborhoods in Santiago has different um, character, and and it will depend on your passenger what are they looking for. More on the gastronomic area, like like for the foodies, and then you have more cultural side, and then and then the city itself, uh, looking into or surrounded by the Andes mountain range. So today Santiago is a blend of the old and new architecture. I think this, this picture is, this is the main square in Santiago, and this picture is the, the exact, exact example of um, what I'm talking about. So you have what used to be Santiago, a, a little bit of a gray city. If you have been in Madrid, it has a similar feeling or atmosphere, uh, um, which, which in, in the past, a lot of a lot of the city was built in gray, you know, and and and, and nowadays you can start seeing more of these 
more parks, more green areas, more and, and more this modern architecture as well. Santiago is a, is a city that is always evolving, okay, and it's it's always growing. Every time I go, I see a new a new green area, a new park. Uh, here you can see when the uh, the construction um, of the tallest uh, building in South America, which now is already completed, um, and and so it always always something new to discover, okay. And then, of course, the culture. Uh, even though modern architecture is, is is getting a stronger presence in in the city, uh, Santiago hasn't changed. You know, you, I go back at least once a year, and it's still the same city is uh, very vibrant, a lot of colors, a lot of people. Um, when you when you actually get in, and 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 very friendly as well. I'm going to I'm going to take the chance to actually show you a little bit of a video here uh, about Santiago and please enjoy and then we'll continue with the presentation. Well, hopefully, hopefully you were able to see that, and and if the video, if the video didn't play really well, it's it's just a good opportunity to see how the city looks like and and the different areas that you can you can actually visit. Here, here I put together a little bit of the main highlights. This is not it's not that there are only eight of them, but this is something that if you go on a three on a three night stay to Santiago, this is this is what you but you should, and your or your clients should visit and enjoy. Of course, the Santiago Historic Center, where the main square is located. Here you have the main cathedral of um, of Santiago. Uh, being um, a Christian or Catholic country, this is part of the main an, an important site to visit. Uh, to visit, and 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 really close is the San Cristobal Hill, when you can see Virgin Mary as well, and 
and and again being a catholic country this is part of what uh, the culture and 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 the atmosphere that you can feel in the city as well this is a great place to have a really really good views of the city um and it's a good half day half day activity okay you can you if you are if your clients are more in the active um experiences you can actually walk all the way up here okay uh, if not there's a cable car as well okay of course the wineries around santiago you don't need to actually travel very far and you'll find wineries pretty much outside on the edge of the city and wine tours and and, and experience what chilean wine chilean wine is uh, all about okay then la Starres neighborhood which um, my personal favorite this is where I personally I recommend your clients to stay and you if you decide to go to Santiago. Um, this area, what is what is what what I like about this area is that even though in Santiago you need to you pretty much need to drive everywhere. Here you can walk, you find small markets, you find bars, you have uh, bookstores, museums, cafes. So you have you have everything that 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 will be interested in the city in, in one small neighborhood and everything in walking distance okay then you have the sky costanera which is the tallest building in south america we were talking before about that and then you have the government house which has a, a very beautiful um, museum as well uh, and, and it's part of any city tour that you actually do in santiago the central market a a place that has excellent seafood um, the actual building the construction was designed by Eiffel the same architect that did the Eiffel Tower uh, so a lot of French influence in that in that building and then you have a, a French design for the building with South American culture and taste and atmosphere inside this is this is a great way to understand how Chilean people are this is this is go go visit have lunch and 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 enjoy you can stay here for a couple of hours and at, outside this market you can find some um, handcrafts and 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 actually people from santiago visit this place regularly as well okay and then one hour from santiago you have the ski resorts so if you are there between june and september you can actually do a, a full day tour um, and go skiing so which which has one of the best um ski qualities in the world so the ski resorts are very high uh, compared to the rest of the world uh, the one that you see there is actually it's called Valle Nevado ski resort and the starting point of this ski resort is 3000 meters above sea level so no trees and and very um so and very cold which is really good for having a good uh, snow quality As we were talking about wine, um, very near from Santiago, 45 minute uh, drive from downtown Santiago, you have the Casablanca Valley. And this is something that I always recommend to do, uh, really good wines, and then you can have a half day or a full day tour into this valley and, and enjoy. Here um, on the left side of the screen, you can see a little bit of the map. Here is the, the city. and airport right here and then the Casablanca Valley is here and you have at least eight wineries that you can visit and um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about our recommended um, stay for for Santiago but definitely uh, a must do if the clients are into wine and gastronomy Here's a little bit of a map. Here's um, of Santiago and and the highlights that we checked before and are highlighted here. So you can find San Cristobal Hill with the Virgin Mary at the top. Then you have the government, the government palace or the government house, the um, the Sky Costanera, the tallest building, the, your way to the ski resort and going to the Andes mountain range. But here is the highlighted area in the screen is where Las Terras neighborhood is located. So 
here they're very close to is is where the central market is located and and part of the hotels that we're gonna the boutique hotels that we're gonna review are located i definitely recommend your, your client to stay here across the river you'll find bella vista neighborhood will which will be more for partying and 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 people that enjoys nightlife and La Starres neighborhood is more a uh, cultural oasis within this big metropolis. So let's start discussing about where to stay. Okay, we work with two boutique hotels. The first one is called Luciano K, and this is a 38 room hotel um, located in La Starres neighborhood and is a blend of period and art deco design. Okay, the name Luciano, Cortese, Luciano K Hotel comes from the architect that designed this building in, in the 1920s. Okay, so the architect is called Luciano Kulczewski and is the architect that brought the Art Deco movement into Chile. Okay, um, a revolutionary in his time, as I was saying, Santiago, especially when I was growing, growing up there in the 80s and early 90s, very great city. Um, and this architect designed this building and in 1928 when the building was actually open as, a, as an apartment building he painted the building pink so and and you will see you will will see a couple of pictures of the interior of of, of the building and it's actually it spills art deco in 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 every corner this is what the rooms look like from 18 square meters all the way to 44 square meters. Uh, one of the key features of this hotel is that the interior design of the building was not modified. So a lot of the a lot of the hotels in Las Tarras neighborhood they have kept the facade of the building and then inside they changed the structure, okay, to have square rooms allowing you to have more rooms per square meter. This building is part of a conservation project as well so all the original structure of the building was maintained so what you see here which is the um, suite of luciano k hotel is a 44 square meter room and this is actually half an apartment okay of the original building you can see if, if, if you start taking a little bit of the detail of of the design you see the floors those wooden floors original from the 1920s and because we're located in front of the main park of santiago um, all with all rooms have triple glazed windows so always taking care of the privacy and and the privacy of our passengers this is what the other rooms look like um, as you see those doors that you see on the right hand side of, of the right hand side of the screen also original from the 1920s they have been restored uh, and keeping keeping the essence of what this building was in in the 1920s uh, alive okay and the legacy of luciano Kulczewski, of the architect common areas of the of the hotel uh, again very art deco what you see there is um that that picture there that you that you see is actually a water a water fountain that is in front of the hotel. So the idea is to capture the essence of the neighborhood as well. Okay, the the hotel being in La Starres neighborhood, it means that he, from this hotel you are it's a ten minute walk to the main street of this neighborhood, where you find all the shops, the bars, the cafes, the the museums, and of course the restaurant. So it's it's really good to stay here. You you can enjoy and explore Santiago uh, during during the day, and then at night you can literally walk to the restaurant to the restaurant of your choice. One of the features of and and I, I would say probably the main feature of this hotel of Luciano K is that it has the first elevator in Chile, and 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 you can see those. Um, old french type elevators and of course it's an it's an experience is is uh it's a trip into the past we do have a modern elevator at the back for luggage and for people that are checking in are 
and are in a little bit of a rush of arriving to the room. But then you can actually enjoy and taking your time to 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 take this elevator and, and understand what a what the architecture and the design of, of this building is all about. And then you see the lobby of the hotel, all, all those tiles that you color tiles that you see there, also original from the 1920s. And and, and, and finish with Luciano K, this is this is the rooftop bar. So I always recommend take the first elevator in Chile all the way up to the seventh floor into the rooftop bar, enjoy views of the main park of Santiago and the Andes mountain range with a glass of Chilean wine or a pisco sour. And, and this is a great, a great place to have dinner as well. Okay, one of the good restaurants that um, are located in Las Taras neighborhood. This rooftop bar is open to public, so you get a little bit of atmosphere here. Uh, people, local people from Santiago, will come and enjoy a drink or dinner. So it's it's a good it's a good place to actually end your day of exploring Santiago. And as we were saying, this is what La Stara's neighborhood looks like. Okay, so so markets. Uh, small small restaurants and and a, a really good vibe to actually go and 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 discover a little bit by yourself. So uh, again, don't be afraid to leave some free time to for your passengers to actually wander around La Paras neighborhood. Okay. The other hotel that we work with is also a boutique hotel. This is La Paras Boutique Hotel. This is. Um, compared to Luciano K with 38 rooms, La Caras Boutique Hotel is uh, only 14 rooms. Okay, so here we have more staff than rooms. So the idea of this hotel is for clients uh, for clients that want a, a more private experience, uh, very quiet, um, is in the heart of uh, La Caras neighborhood, and it's also a um, house from the 1920s. Okay, it's a mansion from the 1920s that's been uh, actually converted into this stunning um, boutique hotel. Okay, uh, as I was saying, built in 1928 uh, and in the heart of the Bohemian neighborhood of Las Taras neighborhood. Okay, of course, what you see there wooden floors, original from the 1920s, only 14 rooms. Uh, four of those rooms have a private balcony. So if you are there in spring or summer, take one of those rooms uh, and 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 enjoy enjoy the um, th this this experience, which is a little bit different. This hotel is not open to public. Uh, you th there's a bar and and you can enjoy after having your tour in Santiago or going just exploring by yourself. You can come here and enjoy some a cup of tea or a beer and. And it will be a great place to actually uh, calm down after being in in a vibrant city like Santiago. The design of this hotel is uh, more classic, more French oriented. So this is what the rooms look like. Uh, again, the idea is to provide a, a lot of comfort and and and, and space, uh, and of course. Uh, a very personalized service, okay? With only 14 rooms, uh, we can we can do that very well. And the same thing, the, in the same neighborhood, even closer, probably five minutes from the main street where all the restaurants and the shops are located. So, and one hotel from the other is one block apart, okay? So, so both of them are really, the, the location is, is, is very good and, and key. Uh, and key to actually experience Santiago in the best possible way. So let's take a little bit of our recommended stay. Okay, so we recommend to stay three nights if you want to explore Santiago and, and, and if you have a little bit of time to, to actually do that. And we'll probably start with your flight from Australia. Uh, they all flights arrive uh, in the morning between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Okay, so so from the airport you can go straight into your hotel, check in. That will take it will be depending of traffic between 25 to 45 minute transfer from the airport to Las Tarres uh, neighborhood and 
uh, where both hotels are located. Um, check in, have lunch at the hotel, or or actually cross the street, or um, um, and, and and have lunch in Las Terras neighborhood. And then I would recommend, because of the time difference, to have a free afternoon. Um, if you have that that option, take it and 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 if you feel like it, go and explore and explore the Taras neighborhood. Okay. Then the following day, I would recommend do a half day tour and uh, book that in advance, so so you know your guide will come and 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 show you the main highlights of of of, of the city, government house, the main park um the central market and then you can actually have lunch in the central market okay in the afternoon i would recommend uh, to actually visit san cristobal hill which has some of the most amazing views of the city and then you can instead of walking up then probably you can walk down and uh, bella vista which is this neighborhood that is more vibrant and more into nightlife better for nightlife it has really good restaurants so probably you can walk down from san cristobal san cristobal hill and then actually have dinner at, at this uh, or go into a bar uh, in bella vista okay on your third day uh, i would suggest take a full day tour to casablanca valley okay it's just it's just there uh, the wine is amazing uh, amazing restaurants that are available there to, to 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 have lunch and it's 45 minute drive uh, and then you can see if you take the full day tour you can you can actually stop in two or three wineries okay and stock stock up with some really good Chilean wine uh, before coming to Australia okay and then and then if you're doing this at the beginning of your South America trip departure to your next destination and if you're doing this at the end of your South America um, trip, uh, then you come back to Australia. This is a little bit, um, here's a little bit of the details of what we were talking about. Wander Las Paras neighborhood, discover uh, the history behind uh, the oldest neighborhood in Santiago. And what's interesting about Las Paras as well is that if you're staying in Luciano Bay Hotel, probably one third of the buildings in this neighborhood were designed by Luciano Kulczewski, by the architect that designed the hotel. Um, so, so you are you will walk, start walking through Las Taras neighborhood and you'll see that there's a Luciano Kulczewski street. Then you'll see his office uh, in front of that and everything with an art deco and even Gothic architecture. So, so you're not just saying it's not a bed and breakfast experience, it's an immersion on the destination and the neighborhood that you're actually staying. Um, as we were saying, a second day, half day tour, government house, main square, central market, then enjoy the central market and wander around, good, really good for souvenirs and have lunch there. The central market receives fresh seafood from the coast every day. Okay, so so definitely uh, give it a go. Okay, and then the San Cristobal Hill, amazing views, and and then you can walk down all the way to Bella Vista and enjoy uh, some of the local restaurants and the nightlife if you're up to uh, if if you want to enjoy some of that as well. And then the wine tours, uh, we can recommend um, some wineries. You have uh, Viña Vic here, Matetich. Uh, and, and and those two provide really good wine tours and wine tasting uh, experiences okay and then um and then the following day depending on as we were saying depending on what's your next uh, destination uh, if you have an afternoon flight um you can you can go back to wander around again Las Terras neighborhood and, and enjoy some of that or even go to some of the um, handcraft markets that are uh, there is not so close to Las Terras neighborhood but there are some really good handcraft markets uh, in Santiago as well then they, they bring all the handcrafts from around the country okay and if it's in the morning you will have to depart a uh, check out and then just go straight to the airport and from here it will take you if it's in the morning probably uh, around 25 to 35 minutes okay because you just take the highway and be uh, 
really, really fast to the airport. Okay. So that's that's our Santiago webinar. I want to once again remind you guys about the Nomad Ambassador program. This is an educational program which is based on our, of course, our blog, our travel blog, and mainly our uh, webinars. Um, which will be running this series of webinars, you know, our newsletters, and of course, uh, traveling with us next year. So today we're doing the um, Nomad Discover Series Santiago Capital of Chile webinar. On the 8th of November, we'll have an, a dedicated webinar for the Explorer properties, okay? Uh, and on the 29th, 29th of November, we'll have a um, um, webinar about this new destination in the Australian market, which is Chiloé, okay? And with Osio Territorio, which is a 15 room boutique hotel in this amazing destination. Um, as I was saying, if you participate in at least four of our webinars, you will have the chance to actually travel with us in our family in May, 2019. So make sure you subscribe and, and, and please, uh, any questions that you could have, uh, don't hesitate in in contact me uh, here are my contact details and and thank you again for for tuning in and if there's if there are any questions please uh, feel free to do those questions now and 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 if not thank you for 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 joining another uh, uh, another webinar of the nomad discover series and i am um, Hope it's been helpful and we're here to help. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's a question about the rate uh, of the hotels. So Luciano K starts um, at 199 US dollars per room per night, including breakfast. Okay, and Las Tarres Boutique Hotel, uh, 250 US dollars um, per room, including breakfast. Of course, it will depend the different their different seasonalities, uh, but that's the starting point. So. These, these hotels are one of the key things of these hotels that are not overpriced, okay? So the idea is to provide an amazing experience and an amazing service, but um, keeping costs in mind as well. Excellent. So, if there are any other any other questions, please feel free uh, to send them to me. Um, and if not, you have my email. is um, is is there? So you can you can send me you can send me an email, uh, and we, we can we can contact uh, and have more contact uh, over there. If you need. Um, the details, the fact sheets of the hotels and and high resolution pictures of each property, please let me know. I'll be happy to send you that as well. Okay. All right. So no more no more questions. Thank you again and stay tuned for the next webinar of the Nomade Discover series. Thank you very much. <laughs>